Welcome back to Time Machine Scale Models and another episode of Way Back Wednesday. Today's episode is brought to you by my youngest daughter. She picked this vehicle to be featured. She kept asking about it and uh, I decided to oblige her and feature it today. So you'll see here we have an MPC Deserter 1984 GMC pickup. And I started this build probably about six years ago. Uh, built the chassis and stuff like that and wasn't really digging it put it in a box and uh, there it sat for six years I actually did paint the body orange at that time as well but uh, the paint job didn't come out too great I had a lot of orange peel it was just a really heavy paint job and I didn't like it and sometime last year I pulled it out of the box and decided I'm going to finish it so I went and I stripped the body and uh, I decided I was going to do a weathering job to it and I used the Elmer's glue technique. The actual top coat color is Tester's French Blue and I just lightly sprayed it to give it some color coat to it. If you're not familiar with the Elmer's glue technique, how I did it was I sprayed the red primer um, as a base, put the Elmer's glue, smeared the Elmer, Elmer's glue. I may have also used a little bit of salt here and there as well um, and then over the Elmer's glue I sprayed the gray primer and then over the gray primer I lightly dusted one or two light coats of the French blue and once it was dried I rinsed it underneath tap water scrubbed it with a hard bristled brush and it removed all the glue and with the glue it removed the paint and got what you see here now over that I took a thousand grit sanding pad in some areas where I wanted a little bit more emphasis and more weathering and that's what you what you see here there is no clear on this um, I used micro mark weathering powders and tile grout to get the mud so let's take a look so one thing that I did do this is built mostly box stock it is box stock but I added a winch cable here and this is that chrome threaded stuff you get at Hobby Lobby that we use for um, steel braided lines and such. Over all the chrome plated parts, I did a light dusting of, to make it simulate surface rust. I did it on the backs of the mirrors, the backs of the lights, and on the chrome roll bar as well as the bumpers. Let's take a look under the hood. really not a whole lot going on in there like I said built mostly box stock and then I just weathered it and dirtied it up there's not much going on in the interior either I just painted the dash panel and then the dashboard on the other side and left the rest black let's take a look at the underside chassis so like I said, I built the chassis and I painted the body and then I just put it back in a box. But originally this is going to be an orange truck and it was, you know, it was going to be a nice looking truck. But instead, I decided to simulate a northern square body that's been neglected for a while. Sat back behind the old barn. Junior went out back, you know, put some fresh fuel in there, put some new plugs in there and it fired right up. And instead of doing that, I went and I uh, went a little bit hog wild with tile grout and the weathering powders and stuff. And we decided to uh, simulate a beater mud truck. And that's what we got here. So I even simulated Junior not putting all the bolts in the license plate. Dang kids. tailgate does come down not very well but it does come down really not much more to tell about this one guys it was just a fun little build and uh, it's been sitting on the shelf and I guess my, my daughter likes it or something I don't know Guys, that's it for this episode of Way Back Wednesday. If you haven't done so already, 
go down there and click that subscription button. It's free to you. Go over there and ring that notification bell, and it'll let you know every time I upload a video. And once again, guys, thanks for watching.